Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a sensuous, provocative, juicy, mythological love story about human evolution. My Jungle Beauty Goddess book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck that I am going to use to give you a message from your inner vixen. Yes, darling, your inner vixen has a message for you. She is demanding and controlling, and she knows exactly who she is and what she wants. Whether you are male or female, we all have a little bit of everything inside of us. I hope you find a message that resonates with your spirit. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings, to better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the pink and black zebra striped divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you with a message from your inner vixen. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is money will rush towards you when you find your true self. The next message I have for you, you have another message from Katara who represents our root chakra. Our earth suit, our body, our connection to our ancestors, our roots. Her message to you is, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? 
The next card I have for you is from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, Father Dematter. And Dematter represents a dark matter and energy, the most powerful energy in the universe. And his message to you is, you are all powerful. And the last card I have for you is from my Jungle Beauty Goddess Love Deck. And the message is... Listen to the whispers of your heart. Child, this is one of the best hands I've ever seen. First of all, Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara represents your root chakra, which is responsible for your money. Yes, child, this is responsible for your money, your finances, your goals, your dreams, your mission on planet Earth. And my collective intuition for your hand is that your inner vixen is looking to create her legacy. She's not looking just for, you know, just the next job or the next paycheck. No, she's looking for something huge and big. So when you listen to the whispers of your heart, what is your heart telling you to do? What is on your heart that you've been kind of putting off and just thinking, oh, it's, my dream is too big. Oh, it's not going to happen for me. Listen, whatever that is, you really need to follow through on that. I see nothing but money signs for you, child. Nothing but money. So when she says money will rush towards you when you find your true self, listen to your heart. What is your heart? Does your heart say, I want to bake cookies because you might be the next, next Mrs. Um, uh, what's her name? Mrs. Fields, right? You might be the next Tyler Perry. You might be the next Oprah Winfrey. Or I don't want to say next because I believe you'll be your original. But what I'm saying is, the whispers of your heart are telling you exactly what it is that you should be doing right now that is going to bring you wealth. Now, the funny thing I'm about, you know, this whole wealth and money thing is that when you follow your heart, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than if you were to get a job, like at a, let's say, a big company. Um, that type of money, it's like in, in the beginning, you may not make any money. It's kind of like when you write a book sometimes when you're writing that book and you don't have a book contract but you're writing that book because you believe in it the money will come sometimes even when you're not here sometimes it'll come you know years after you've written the book but it's a seed that you plant and that's the kind of that is what your inner vixen is asking you to do it is asking you to plant the seed that will set up your legacy the thing that people are going to remember you for so that's the one thing. So you, you have to listen to your heart. Listen to the whispers of your heart, child. So you know that's a little quiet voice. And you're thinking, no, I don't want people laughing at me. No, my parents want me just to have good health insurance. And, you know, you're, it's that voice that we like to ignore. But that's the voice that you need to listen to. Now, the other card you have from Katara, it says, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? So listen. Your current behavior is really how you spend your time. And how you spend your time today will determine what kind of future your children will have, what kind of future you're going to have 30 years from now. So let's just say today you're working on a book and every day you write a page um, or every day you make a video or you decide you want to go back to school and every day you study. Can you see how five years from now that it's going to have an impact on your life now but let's just say every day you spend that time you know doing other things um, I, I don't want to say because sometimes we do need enjoyment but are you spending enough time preparing you know for what it is you really want in your future for who you want to be the kind of money you want to make the kind of lifestyle you want to have that is what this card is asking now the thing about Katara again she represents your root chakra which you know the roots um, which represent our money our prosperity our mission on the planet why we came our relationship with our community with our ancestors this is your money card her element is earth and this is where things grow and things develop right now the thing that I'm going to tell you that your inner vixen needs, she needs you to do a prosperity foot soak. I, I know that sounds crazy, but that is what your inner vixen needs. So basically you can use um, baking soda, 
soda and what is it called apple cider vinegar and spring water and some salt uh, cedar wood cypress uh, cinnamon or uh, essential oils just a little couple drops uh, drops and you you can do this or you can actually buy money drawing and prosperity soaks like salts from Art of the Root and uh, there's a shaman uh, prosperity foot soak as well and then after you clean your feet and you do a nice foot soak you should polish your toenails red because your root chakra is red keeping your feet if you want to know how your finances are doing all you have to do is look at your feet child and also you want to look in your money area in your home because your hand is about how powerful you are like your hand is a hand that's telling somebody you're going to be wealthy you're going to be successful whatever you know plant your seed you know write your song do your thingy thing it want you know whatever it is that you want it wants you as well but there are some practical things you need to do to help it along so if you walk into your home and you look in the extreme left corner of each room that is your money area okay I don't know if it's clean if it's organized or you have wood in the area because the element is wood the purples are the colors are purple green um, red some books say blue but having a lot of like green healthy plants that you have plants in the area that are dying your hand is telling you to pay attention to your money area your feet um, which you know your, your root chakra if you want to um, work on your root chakra if you can I'm not sure if you believe in this or if you're into chakras you can hold your hands like this and say LAM L-A-M LAM and imagine this beautiful golden white light that comes from the central sun all the way through your root chakra which goes into the earth and um, the energy from the earth comes back up and imagine this this red and white vortex light that's really healthy and glowing so you want to work in your root chakra you want to plant the seeds of wealth you want to pay attention to your feet and you want to pay attention to your money area whatever idea you have it wants to come to life your hand is telling you to go for it to believe in yourself and um, do what is necessary to make your dreams come true now I do have a message from your star alien being which is this beautiful um, rose quartz. I love that. Thank you. I hate getting my lipstick all over them. I'm going to read it to you because actually when I do my readings, it's just that sometimes I try to rush on camera, but I would like to take my time and write it out and really feel the energy of what the message is. So this is the message from your star alien being you must tend to your garden you are at a point in your life where most people give up on their dreams because they lack the discipline consistency and commitment to pursue their dreams you have planted the seeds but now you must pick the weeds from choking the budding blossoms the weeds in your life are the negative people your own self doubts your bad habits and your lack of discipline you must water the garden pay attention to details what small things can you do each day to water your seeds get organized clean up your environment make a to-do list each night before going to bed chart your behavior to see how you actually spend your time what are you saying to sabotage your own success this is where most people give up because progress isn't happening fast enough what daily practices does your goals need to manifest your dreams what daily practices yeah does your um what, what daily practices does your goals need to manifest your dreams yes even if you don't see results yet your roots are sprouting the universe is doing its part but you must also do your part so this is a message from your star alien being on what your inner vixen need to leave her legacy Charlie to sit on top of the world I hope you found this reading 
um, useful, valuable. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the beige and pink Divine Feminine Butterfly, this reading is for you with a message from your inner vixen. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about the message from your inner vixen. So the first card I have for you is from Jenna Beauty Goddess Katara and her message to you is Don't take your physical experience for granted. Okay. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is Creativity is not a special gift. You are a creator. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is, you don't need a reason to have fun. And then I have another card for you from my love deck. And this is the, the father, the matter with the mom. Ah, oh, he's so in love with her. He says, never choose power over love. Long story short, the hand, your cards are telling you that you really need to enjoy your life more. Your inner vixen wants to relax. She wants to, she wants to think about what it is she really wants. It's not about money. It's not about relationships, but it's really about figuring out what it is that you really, really want and for you to enjoy your life. So like you know how sometimes people make decisions because they feel like well I can't, I really love teaching but it doesn't pay enough. Your inner vixen is telling you that I want to be in love with life. I want to be in love with life. I want, it says don't take your physical experience for granted. Don't, don't never choose power over love. Power meaning money or things that will please your ego or maybe you're you're worried about what other people would think of you or prestige but you're not really listening to what would make you happy your inner vixen wants to be happy um, creativity is not a special gift you are a creator so basically do you want to you know maybe you've always wanted to sew or write or bake or draw or paint she's urging you to really enjoy life that is what your inner vixen needs you don't need a reason to have fun like you're that person that feels like oh i you know i can have fun you know after i finish school or after i um you know do some long project or after i scrub the basement no your your inner vixen really wants to feel alive she wants to enjoy life she wants to have fun and she wants you not to think about just always moving ahead or getting ahead, but to really enjoy your life guilt-free. So I have a message for you from your star alien being, this beautiful green jade star alien being. I'm going to read it to you. Um, I like to take my time and let the message come through as opposed to rushing it on camera. So I'm just going to read, read it to you really quickly. So your message from your star alien being is let's see the wrong page. If you are contemplating having a baby or starting a new project or business this is the perfect time for you to take action. If you want to have a baby, you know, you should start taking like prenatal pills, eat healthy, prepare your womb for, for life, um, for life to grow inside of it. If you are planning to write a book, um, make crafts, paint, write, uh, write a new song, start a business, 
take practical steps every day. So basically, you're at a stage of development and the universe is supporting that. So if you want to write a book, you should start, you know, taking notes, outlining the book, looking for, you know, information. Because sometimes I've learned that if you're writing a book, you you should be reading as much as you're writing because, you know, there's like sometimes a lot of research about the different characters. But um, if you, whatever it is you want, you should be able to go to bed every night and check off a list. Like I did A, B, C, D, and E. Um, but I know this is in direct opposition of what the cars are saying. The cars are saying you need to relax and take care of yourself and have fun. And you know, I think a general theme that I'm picking, that I'm getting from this inner vixing reading is if you are doing something and it feels like work, then you are not utilizing the power of your inner vixen. But when you do something you love, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like fun. When Beyonce is on stage doing her thing, it yes, that's how she pays the bills, but it's it's fun to her. Um, I know that when you're doing a job that you adore and when you feel like this is where you belong and you feel happy, it doesn't feel like work. And I feel like your inner vixen, that's the message that is coming across in most of the cards. It's saying, I want you to do things that could that create your legacy. I want you to do things that you enjoy. I want whatever you do to be a divine, sublime plan for your life, not just some ordinary task. So you should feel, even if it's being a medical doctor, you should feel excited about it. You should feel inspired. So uh, basically, the your star Jade star alien being is saying that this is a good time for you to get started on whatever you want to bring into this world. You are a creator. So whether it's creating a baby or a new job or a new book or a new video, it is time for you to to think about what it is you want to contribute to your earthly experience. Um, and take practical steps every day. And every night before you go to bed, you should have up and materialize some tangible aspect of your endeavor. This is time for you to take steps to manifest what you really want to achieve. Not what you think you have to achieve, but this is a good time for you to really dive into doing something fun. Now, I know a lot of times people, you know, we have to pay bills and we have to go to work. But when you come home, as opposed to, you know, turning on TV or playing a game, you know, really start putting some effort towards that thing that you really want that thing that you don't really want to tell your parents about or you don't want to tell other people because other people think you're crazy you know like for me I, I didn't start making dolls until my mid to late 40s and I mean how do you you know other grown people I mean I, I have at this time I had two masters a doctorate degree and I started making dolls out the blue and my family thought I was insane and I didn't understand why I was making these dolls but I would come home from work and I just I couldn't stop you know I, I it was I was obsessed with making the dolls so um, making the dolls led to after I made the dolls I didn't know they were characters in the science fiction story so basically what I'm saying to you is life has many turns and twists and whatever if, if whatever you're doing right now this may not be your divine sublime plan and the, the divine sublime plan is usually not related to money right away it's usually something that's related to your soul's deepest expression you know what i'm saying and that is what you um are being asked to do is to relax your cars are telling you to enjoy your earthly experience meaning you know, when you get up in the morning, are you enjoying the the birds on the trees? Are you enjoying your life? Are you enjoying, because in, in tying that joy into to doing something that really brings you pleasure, and it's not about um, power, you know? It's about love. And you don't need a reason to have fun. Like I said, I'm coming home from work, you know, after teaching seven classes and deciding I'm, I'm gonna sew and make dolls. I'm going to write. 
creativity is not a special gift. A lot of times people think that, oh, I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't do this. No, you can do whatever you want to do because you, you know, you you are a creator. You, you're a human being and you came here to create whether it's life or painting or drawing or, or donuts or cookies, but it's something you came here to create and I think you should get started with it. And then you have the card that's saying, don't take your physical experience, don't take your physical experience for granted. And I think this is a really important card. Like a lot of times, you know, we're here and we think, oh, okay, um, I don't need to, you know, I have enough time. I'll do it later or whatever. But the cards are saying, listen, don't take your youth for granted. Don't take your energy for granted. Don't take, you know, and when you leave this incarnation, you know, what do you need to do to feel good about your stay here on planet Earth? That is really what your hand is about. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the red tiger print butterfly, isn't it beautiful? If you, this is a divine feminine butterfly. This reading is for you with a message from your inner vixen. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition child. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire's message for you is be creative. This message is I almost feel like I could have just done one reading because it seems like the inner vixen, the energy that I'm picking up from the mystic room is all is asking everybody to be creative. Go for your dream. This is a really good time. The next card I have for you is from Demata, who is the father of the jungle beauty goddesses. And his message is you are the ruler of your reality. So child, whatever you want to create, create. You got it. The force is behind you. And then you have a card that says, from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents the throat chakra. She says, gather information with an open mind. <gasps> oh my God, there is something you're supposed to be doing and you need to do research. There's something that you have wanted to do for a long time, but you kind of like listen to other people and you never know for sure. like. You know, is it too late? Is it something I really want to do? How much am I going to make? The the cards are saying, go do some research with an open mind. You know, go and figure this out. Read some books. You know, because you may be surprised that what you want to do may be available to you in another form, in another way. Like one of the things I've found is that sometimes people say well there you know there are no more teaching jobs but it really there are if you're willing to move to another state or maybe you know when people say you know you can't do this or they say oh you know YouTube is crowded maybe that particular topic is crowded but maybe there's something else you're supposed to be doing nothing is crowded you know I always like to say that there is McDonald's right and Burger King couldn't say well I, you know we don't need another burger joint but they were just like, well, I have a burger and I'm passionate about it. So we have Burger King and then we have Wendy's. But what if Wendy said, I don't, you know, I don't want to have a burger joint because we already have, you know, Burger King and McDonald's because, you know, and then what, what is that other new place? I can't think of the name of it, but you guys, you get the picture. When you are here to do something, you know, you should do it. You should do research. And I know a lot of times people say it's crowded or um, it's oversaturated or, um, you know, look and see. An open mind means, do I have the skill set? Do I have the interest? Do I have the time? Is it something that's really going to make me happy? You know, read both sides of the issue. But you have the power to create the world that you really want to live in. Your inner vixen 
feels like she wants to be on top of the world. She wants her legacy. She wants all eyes on her. Now, you also have a card that is really interesting to me. Um, this is from my love deck. And this card is saying, you have loved each other for a million lifetimes. There is somebody in your life who is a key person. It could be a boss, a neighbor, um, a person that you're interested in, a person you're in a relationship, a person in your family. But this is a person who you need to somehow work something out with. You need to, you know, come to a peace. And I just think that this person will be key into bringing about a certain level of peace in your life. Like if there's conflict with your boss, this boss may be a person who's there to motivate you to be your highest and best self. Sometimes we think that um, a person really doesn't like us, but they may have signed a soul contract with you to keep you inspired and motivated to reach for more. I know that may sound negative, but that's that's really sometimes the role that people have in your life. They don't want you to get too comfortable. They don't want you not to go back to school. And that's why they're hurting you. That's why they pick on you because they've agreed with you in the spiritual realm that they're going to always make sure you push forward. If it's a parent, it could be a parent. It could be, um, you know, like I said, it could be a teacher. But you've known this person for a million years. Literally, uh, literally, that this is a person who's a part of your soul pool, and they're and they're here to help you find yourself. So, whoever is in your life who right now who is giving you a hard time, um, who is maybe pushing you, because they could be pushing you too. That is a key person who is in your corner, and you should listen. You should listen to, and you should ask yourself. Um, in what way is this relationship pushing me forward towards something more and something bigger in my life? And now I'm going to give you a message from your fluorite oh, skull being. Oh, this is such a beautiful being. I was so excited to get this. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, look at there. So gorgeous. Yes. So I'm going to give you the message. And the message I have for you is there is a relationship with someone that is, a, is an important part of your life that is a part of the soul contract. I'm leading, um, I'm sorry. And it says that somehow you need to um, improve your communication with this person. And if something seems shady or underhanded, um, this, you probably need to investigate it and you need to open up the lines of communication. So what I'm really picking up from this energy, from this particular fluoride being, is that there may be an, an, an incident that has really caused you to mistrust them and and it has, or, and trust, maybe not even trust people, but you're being asked to investigate this matter, to find out what really happened, to see both sides of it, to look at it in a, in a variety of different ways. Because once you have more information, this is going to actually improve your relationship with this person. And it says that you shouldn't be afraid of whatever you find because it's going to help you. Um, and I, another scenario came to my mind is that if somebody, let's say you're in a relationship and um, you find some some messages, you know, some DMs, and you're feeling like you know you can't trust them, the cards are saying look into it deeper. Whatever relationship you have right now with someone, where there seems to be a little bit of, of things that aren't clear, the cards are asking. I mean, I'm sorry, your skull being is asking you to look into it deeper to see what is going on because um, the more information you have the more knowledge and insight you have about that person and the situation it is going to help you grow and it's going to give you clearer um, you know insight or a clearer uh, pathway so your inner vixen really needs um, she really needs to know who she can trust 
who she can trust and who is on her side okay and also uh, your fluorite skull being is saying you are in control even if it doesn't look like it you are um, you are in control more than you think so don't be afraid of what is happening because you have the power in the relationship and and also um, and some other messages that came through with your whole with this soul contract card is really interesting that there may be someone who's flirting with you somebody might want to get to know you better um, but whatever there, there's a, there's someone in your life that is key that you need to look at that you need to investigate so that is the message that I have for you so your inner vixen is um, you know saying look you have the power to create the life you want um, and you there's and there are people in your life who are helping you rather even when it doesn't look like they're helping you and that you need to do some research and to what it is you want to accomplish and maybe even to the people in a, in a situation with people around you that's what I'm picking up so your inner vixen needs to know who, to me if I had to put it in a nutshell she's like I need to know who I can trust and she wants her clear pathway to her legacy and to her success darling I really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video hello darling if you selected the cerulean blue divine feminine butterfly this reading is for you with a message from your inner vixen first i'm going to go over the cards and then i'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand the first card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess sahara and jungle beauty goddess sahara's message to you is in between the words, therein lies the truth. My favorite cards. The next card I have for you is from me. And her message to you, she represents our crown chakra. Trust. Trust, darling. I want to love your hand. Mm -mm -mm. The next card I have for you is live as if the only time you will ever have is now. Oh, I love it so much. Trust in between the words. Therein lies the truth. And then I have one more card for you from my love deck. And the card says, this is Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. Needing only you. So your hand is saying to me, there is something that you came to this planet to accomplish to do that only you can do you need to trust yourself you need to stop procrastinating there is no way baby because you are the way you have to trust the darkness you have to trust like you know like sometimes let's say you want to go to school to be a doctor the courses have already been set the classes you need to take the GPA you need that pathway has been established and Several people, hundreds of people, thousands of people have traveled that pathway, right? I would say most pathways in life, you want to be a teacher, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer. You know, there's, oh, this is what you need to do, A, B, C, D, E. What your soul, your inner vixen is telling you, darling, that what you need to bring to this world, only you can do it. It needs only you, okay? You. You have to... You gotta cut down the trees and move the boulders out the way, child. You gotta create a path. There is no freeway. There is no walkway. There is no path. You are the path, and you gotta trust that. You gotta trust yourself. You gotta trust your dream. You have to trust what's in your heart, and you're gonna have to believe in yourself and make it work. So the card that you said that you have that says in between the words, there in lies the truth. Oh, let me tell you about. Oh. So when people say words, 
they, you know, people can tell you anything. So let's just say you ask somebody, say, darling, do you love me? And they say, of course I love you. But they never call, they never come. They, uh, they're they missing in action. Um, their behavior and what's coming out of their mouth are two totally different things, right? People can say anything, but it doesn't mean it's the truth. Because in between the words, darling, therein lies the truth. So when you say, you listen to the residents, have someone told you before, you ask them, you say, are you okay? And they say, I'm fine. Okay, even though they said the words, I'm fine, but their facial expression, the tone in their voice, it doesn't say they're fine, right? So in between the words is where the where there's potential, where there's matter that hasn't been formed yet, where there is... Oh, the energy, once you get, once you label something and you give it a word, now there is, um, you know, something to expect. For you, there is, I'm sorry, it's a void. It's a, it hasn't been created yet, darling. Only you can create it. There is something unique. Oh, I wish I knew what it was. You know what I mean? Like... There's something unique that your inner vixen knows that only you can bring to this world. You have to trust your gut. You have to listen to your inner voice. You have to believe in yourself. Um, that is what your hand is telling you. Your inner vixen says, believe in me, darling. Believe in me. Believe in the darkness. Believe there is no pathway there. We, you know, we are the ones who are going to create this new program, this write this new book, this new way of doing something. You're the one. You are the one and you got to trust. Your hand is so amazing. Trust. I love this. Trust yourself. Trust your dreams. Trust your calling. Have faith. Live as if the only time you will ever have is now. Stop procrastinating, darling. You cannot put this off. Whatever this thing is that only you can bring to this planet, you can't put it off. Because guess what? Nobody else has the key. Nobody else has the code. Nobody else knows what to do. That pathway has not been created yet. Only you can only you can bring it to the planet. So because it needs needing only you. Only you, darling. The inner vixen. You know, one of the collective messages that has been in every hand for this pick a car is that your inner vixen wants to create her legacy. She wants to create the thing that is meaningful in her life. She's controlling, she's demanding, and she's demanding you to come alive, to use your power to create the re reality that you really want, but from your soul and from your heart. She doesn't want superficial things. She wants you to leave your mark on the planet. So you have this beautiful appetite skull being who assisted with your message and I am going to give you the message from this beautiful beautiful being I'm going to read it to you I find that it's easier to read off camera because I can let the information you know flow and let it come naturally this is um, there is a space in the world that that only you can fulfill there isn't a job description for it no one else is doing it it belongs to you and you alone darling I'm just the darling is mine stop doubting yourself wherever when um whenever a reoccurring idea whatever reoccurring idea that keeps playing in your head write it out in detail and trust that the dots will come together over time Trust the darkness. See with your heart. There is no way. You are the way. Don't second guess yourself. You are creating a reality, a dream, a destination from uncharted territory. Let your vixen take control. She knows what she is doing. I love your message, darling. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.